Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial from visualnights.com. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can create a chess piece uh, called the Bishop. Um, if you've never created a chess piece before, I suggest you watch the video tutorial, also from us, uh, where you create a pawn, which will cover more of the basics. Well, let's get started. Go to the standard um, objects like splines. We click on line and we'll start right at the top of the pawn. We'll go from the top all the way down and then we're going to create all these small vertices and in every corner you think is necessary you put a vertice. Don't worry we're going to adjust these round points later on. I'll do this real quick so we'll get a nice shape in just a couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. Um, you see this gap here, we're going to do something about that um, later on. But first we're going to create this shape. That's the most important thing for now. Now when we zoom in, we go to the modifier list. Um, click on line and click on vertex. Now we can see all the vertices here. Here, um, We're going to well smoothen up these lines here because they are a lot, they are edgy at the moment. Um, we're going to choose the fillet option. And then we're going to we give this nice round um, corners. Once again, we leave this gap here for now. We're going to not going to do anything about that right now. Um, of course, I'm not making a perfectly shaped uh, bishop here, but it's just about uh, the basics of how you should do it. It's just for a quick tutorial. Little edge there, little edge there. Let's see. Well, once you've done that, once you think you have a good line of spline, sorry, of your object, what you need to do then is select the line. Um, select the line, yes, and go to modify list and click on the L button on your keyboard and you can see this modifier called Lath. Select that. Now you can see in the perspective view you have this really weird shape. Um, don't worry, we're going to fix that. Click on Lath if it isn't already selected. Then click on the Y direction and click on minus and you can see ooh, a pretty nice bishop piece for a chess set. But we're not done yet. As you can remember, this bishop looks a bit... doesn't look like this. It has this hook out of it, and well, we need to get that out. Go to normal standard primitives and create a box. Um, we're going to create a simple box here. It's important that you position the box inside the object and with the help of the viewports you can adjust uh, the position of the box. I assume you already know those kind of movements. These are really basics in 3D Max. Um, once you've done that, you position the perspective view a little bit around so you can see how it would look. Place it a bit in the middle. What we're going to use now is a boolean. Now what a boolean does if you don't know that, it chops a piece out of the original object by using the second object. Select your uh, bishop, click on compound objects, and click on boolean. Click on pick operand B and select the box we just created. And voila! Here is your bishop with a chunk out of it. For more chess piece tutorials visit the YouTube channel of Visual Nights or visit our website at visualnights.com.